So the United Nations met while I was in New York for Climate Week at the groundbreaking summit of the future, the once in a lifetime pact for the future, included a global digital compact and declaration on future generations and was adopted by the UN after years of work to get back on track with the sustainable development goals for our 2030 deadlines. It covers a bunch of topics like safe technology for all but especially kids, world hunger and health, refugees, climate change and financing, peace and nuclear disarmament, poverty and human rights. Things that were great about the week. The first ever declaration of future generations will take into account. Kids not yet born in decision making. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said young people must be a part of the decision making process at the UN and beyond. There were lots of great commitments to halt and reverse deforestation and biodiversity loss by 2030, to complete negotiations on a legally binding plastic pollution treaty, to keep 1.5 alive and hit net zero by 2050, to say no more to oil and gas licenses, to say no more oil and gas subsidies, inefficient or otherwise. Guterres said, I must call out the flood of fossil fuel expansion you're seeing in some of the world's wealthiest countries. They're signing away our future and we must phase out fossil fuels fast and fairly. Things that were not great about the week, saying that kids' voices need to be heard, but finding out it was impossible to attend. I know, I tried. According to a friend who was there, there were a lot of empty seats, which was super frustrating. Apparently, even the small amount of kids who were there often had their microphones muted. Organizations have to realize that children and youth are not the same. UN considers someone 35 to be a youth. So a youth could be married with an 11 year old kid of their own. The children on the planet are the most at risk from thirst, hunger, war, poverty, violence, and the effects of climate change. Children need a voice. We need a spot at the table. Gucci said, my message to young people worldwide is do not accept that what we have today is inevitable. Do not accept that you can't transform things. At a climate week event, I heard the words, youth washing for the first time and i would say that kid washing is even worse what i mean by that is the people who want kids there to look like they value our voices who want to take photos with us because we're cute and use us in their social media but then don't engage or want to help us raise our voices Kutra said, to change the world, we need to unite, mobilize, and fight for our common future. So many on our planet have so much, but so many more have so little. No kid should go to bed hungry or afraid. We have the technology to fix things. It's time to act. Those who benefited by making the mess should be forced to pay to clean it up. Antonio Gutra said, power is not given, it's taken and we kids have to take it. We have to stand up and demand that adults decarbonize now. Please like and subscribe. Bye.